Hello, welcome to SDT University. Friends, today we have a very special celebrity guest, Miss India International 2021, Zoya Afroz. Ma'am, welcome to SDT University. Thank you and thank you for such a warm welcome. Thank you so much, ma'am. So I know we all have lots of questions when we meet celebrities, especially models and actors. And ma'am, uh, besides being an established model, is also a Bollywood actor. So ma'am, uh, my first question to you would be, what to you is fashion? First of all, before answering your question, I would also like to inform and like tell everyone uh, that this is my first visit to SGT University as the advisory board member. So it's very, very special to me. And uh, yes, we can do the questions uh, now. Yeah, sure yeah. ma'am. So uh, what is fashion to you ma'am? It's different for different people. Uh, to me, fashion is being myself. Uh, I usually don't follow trends. I wear clothes that suit my body type. Um, I wear colors that suit my skin tone personally. So I feel that yes, some trends do come in and go out. Uh, but you should only kind of uh, do the trends or you know, um, wear the outfits that suit you personally. Uh, it's about you, not the clothes. Uh, you should shine in them and you should feel the best. That's important. That's a wonderful answer that, you know, as they say, fashion fades, style stays. That it's your style that matters and it's not the clothes, it's the person in the clothes yes. that matter. That's a wonderful answer, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, could you brief us about your journey in modeling and acting? So my journey started uh, when I was very, very young. I was three years old. Uh, and you know, I'm very blessed to have pa parents who recognized my talent at that a young age. And um, you know, they used to see me in acting and you know, acting in front of the mirror and they would feel like, you know, we should put her into acting because this is something that she really enjoys. And I was three years old and that's when it all started. Uh, they put me in a contest, uh, which was a Rasna Mahasarch contest and the winner would get to do the ad of Rasna. So that's where it all started. I competed, I won, I was in the top, uh, you know, the top contestants. And uh, one after the other thing started coming in. Uh, my mother used to take me to auditions and, uh, you know, I kept getting selected. Uh, it started with Ham Saat Saat Hai, I did Man. There was a small scene in that with Manisha Koirala mm -hmm. ji. Then uh, there was a Sonpuri TV show that we used to do as a kid. Uh, so all of that kept happening one after the other. And although my experience has, uh, is vast in these years because I was studying and also I was acting in films and TV shows as a kid. Uh, my career has been, it's been a joy ride, honestly. Although I've gained a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and I've learned from the best uh, from the industry, whether it be Suraj Barjata ji in Ham Saat Saat, he's the one who directed it. So I've learned so much working under his, his guidance and you know, working on his set. Um, then I worked with, uh, Ramesh Sipi's G set mm -hmm. on, uh, so that was something that was really, really interesting. So I've learned from the best and although the experience has been vast, I think I've really enjoyed my journey. And you know, that's what I keep telling everyone that, you know, whatever you do, your heart needs to be in it. And if you don't truly enjoy what you're doing, nothing makes sense. Uh, this life wouldn't make sense. So, um, so I think uh, my, my career has been, um, you know, it seems like I've done a lot of different things, but to me, it has, it, it came very naturally and, you know, uh, side by side, my padhai bhi hoti thi saath mein on set, you know, okay. and side by side, I was doing my shows and my movies, etc. So, um, it's been, it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey and uh, finally, Miss India and Miss India International. So, that is one journey that I'm looking forward to. Definitely. So, you've been multitasking since your childhood, actually. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, all our, you know, uh, students, especially the young generation, they look up to celebrities, they look up to models and actors and definitely the life in Bollywood seems very flashy. So I'm sure it must be equally taxing. So what uh, message would you like to give to the youth regarding uh, stardom? Oh, wow. Um, yes, it does look all glitz and glamour uh, to the person who is viewing it from the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. You know, um, I remember right now we were shooting for my web show called Matsya Khan. And although, you know, it's all fun and it's a heist mm -hmm. and it's a fun show. Mm -hmm. But I remember, you know, being on the set for 12 hours straight with hair and makeup and, you know, different tough locations. 
so uh, you know we used to uh, really really work hard and uh, that is something that people don't see and that's the beauty of an artist you know uh, whether it's a painter whether it's a, an actor they make it look effortless Absolutely. and uh, but don't be fooled it's not effortless <laughs> a lot of lot of effort goes into it and for any profession in fact mm -hmm. um, if you give in that much of hard work you will receive the outcome so <laughs> that's a wonderful answer uh, Ma'am, another question which uh, keeps uh, cropping in our minds is that uh, fashion and modeling has always been associated with an hourglass figure. So what about those who don't fit into these stereotype bodies? I mean, can they also flaunt? Can they also have a style? Absolutely. And uh, we're seeing that right now. And it's such a good time to be alive that, you know, um, earlier we used to have this special specific figure that you need to be in to be a model. But right now we have plus size models walking the ramp of, you know, uh, huge, you know, recognizable designers. So uh, recognized designers. And I think um, it's a huge step that has taken us, you know, uh, into a great direction. And Honestly, I feel that if you are, uh, you know, you should first love yourself and love your body. And there's nothing wrong in transforming, although there's nothing wrong in being the better version of yourself. Uh, but if you don't want to and, and if you're happy with who you are, there's nothing wrong with that too. So we must be accept, uh, you know, that acceptance needs to be there for each and every one because everyone is different and everyone wants different things from life. So let's not stereotype and let's not, you know, kind of make um, a box and everyone should fit in that box uh, because we humans are extremely different from one another and that's the beauty of it. So let's keep that intact. Uh, that's nice. And ma'am, uh, I think this would be the last question. What uh, message would you like to give to our students of fashion and design and mass communication? What are the th things on which they should focus while they are studying and after that when they'll practice? Wow. So I have taken a few sessions being the advisory board member and I have met a lot of the students from the fashion uh, faculty mm -hmm. and um, uh, they're all amazingly talented uh, kids, you know, they have so much to offer to the world. Uh, the one message that I would like to give and what I really work on with them is, uh, you know, their self-development. Uh, you need to become better uh, and you need to, you know, have a personal growth, a personal journey apart from your skills and talents that you obviously have to work on. Uh, but both are equally important. And to all the students, not only just fashion uh, students, to all the students who are listening from the SGT University, I would like to say that you have a lot of potential. So uh, don't stop working hard on your skills and talent, but also don't stop working on yourself. Uh, that is the key. And if you really want to be leaders and if you really want to succeed in life, uh, you know, dealing with people and having better communication skills and putting your best foot forward and speaking with your heart is very, very important. So also develop those skills. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. It's been uh, wonderful <laughs> talking to you and it's been a learning experience. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank it's so a much. wonderful experience being here. And uh, I must say that I have received the warmest welcome and uh, the students, the faculty members, everyone, they're so, uh, such nice, they're good human beings at heart and that is what is important and I felt that, you know, you feel the vibe. So uh, this is my first visit, hopefully there will be more and uh, hopefully I will be able to interact with each and every one of you on a personal level as well. So I wish you all the very best and in the coming years I wish you all the success and I will visit again soon but for now that this is it. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much ma'am. So friends, this was our celebrity guest today and also an advisory board member who's come, who's graced the occasion to open the brand Design for Life. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.